Howdy folks, I got a special unboxing today. Instead of unboxing a new instrument for review, this is a very old instrument. Uh, this is my $126 tenor banjo. Now, similar to the $99 parlor guitar that I bought last year, and I'll go ahead and link that in the description for you if anybody's curious. Uh, it's an eBay purchase, and that particular guitar was said to be in barely, barely playable condition. And it turns out that it just needed a couple little tweaks and it plays fine. Um, you've seen it in many of my videos. Well, this one claimed to be in playable condition. And um, that always makes me a little leery because you don't know if the person that says it's in playable condition is a, uh, you know, someone that's like a banjo shop owner who actually knows what that means or, you know, someone who literally plucked a string and said, oh, it makes noise, it's playable. So you always got to wonder a little bit. But... Let's see what I got. So this should be a tenor banjo. I have never owned a tenor banjo before and I know pretty much nothing about them. Um, but what I do know is this particular one is made in Japan. And it's always been my experience that Japanese made instruments are quite high quality. So I paid 126 for it. Hopefully I didn't get ripped off. My buddy Lou the Man will know because he's a banjo file. Um, where is it? All right. Okay. So here she is. Get that out of the way. Okay. Here she is. And voila. Voila! A tenor banjo. Okay, there seems to be some tape on the bridge. Hopefully you can see that. Not sure what that's about, probably just to keep it in place. Strings are detuned. The brand name is Aquarius. Hopefully you can see that. Never heard of it. I did some searching on it and it appears they were a um, budget instrument company that made, you know, was adopted by a lot of schools and stuff. So it's probably not of the highest quality. I was expecting that. But here's the whole reason I got it. Look at that made in Japan stamp. It has been my experience that Japanese made string instruments tend to be of quite good quality. So let's just take a, a gander here. This does have the resonator. It's not just an open back. It actually has the resonator. It does say steel reinforced neck there. I don't know if you can see that, but on the uh, truss rod cover. So it does have a, um, apparently a truss rod. Uh, the tuners look, they're fairly um, lower gear ratio, but they look to be pretty decent quality. Hopefully they all work. Just a quick, let me sit back down here. Just a quick, they're all like taking the, the tension in and out of the strings. So that's a good sign. Again, I don't know how to judge a banjo at all. Drum appears to have tone. Um, everything is in really good condition. I'm actually kind of surprised here. I'm hoping I got a good deal. The action looks quite high. Uh, that might be something that I'm not able to fix. Maybe the truss rod is worn out. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can shave the bridge down. But it uh, looks like all the lugs are in place. I don't know. This looks like I might have got a decent deal. Let's tune it up. Let's tune it up and find out. Okay, folks, the adventures continue, as it always is, with these uh, <laughs> cheap used instruments. Um, so, first things first, I went to tune it up, and the high string here just, bang, it like popped immediately. Like, I didn't even have much tension on it. And where'd I put it? Right here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this on the camera. But like normally when a string pops, it's very straight, right? It just like boing. This thing is like coily. I don't know, like again, I don't know if you can, but it's like, so something was probably wrong with this string because it's like, it's like all coily and springy. So anyway, that one popped. Um, I measured it with my caliper and it's about a seven gauge, or I'm sorry, an eight gauge. And um, the thinnest thing that I had in a guitar string was a nine gauge. So I put that on here. That's why you see this hanging out here. So I put a brand new nine gauge guitar string on it. Um, it's probably, cause it's a brand new string. I'm probably gonna have to tune it up again. So then I went to tune it up and um, 
C, what, C, G, oh God, why is my brain not working? C, G, D, A is the normal tuning for a tenor banjo, which is just tuned in fifths. But this one, I tuned up to that and it was really floppy, so I took it up a step. So this one is now D. So it's currently tuned D, A, E, B. And it seems to work pretty well for that. And you know what's funny is remember the parlor that I got that had issues and I tuned it up with standard tuning and it didn't sound good. And so I tuned it up a half a step high and it sounds great. This one, I tuned it with the standard tuning and it doesn't sound good. I tuned it up a full step, but it sounds great. Um, so it's kind of like, uh, I don't know about great, but it sounds okay. So it's kind of like I'm jinxed with used instruments that can't be tuned correctly. Anyway, so I got her tuned up and then I went to play it and it just sounded like way out and sour. And I realized the guy had taped the bridge down, right, to keep it from moving, but it wasn't even close to the right position. It was like an inch off. So I don't know what he was doing there. But so I slid the bridge into the right position, by the way, if you've never done that, measure from your nut to your 12th fret and then double it. And that's where the bridge should be from the nut. So in this case, it was 11 and a half, making this a 23 inch scale. So I put the bridge about 23. And of course, it intonates a lot better now. So I'm not saying it's perfect. It's probably gonna need some work. Now I did notice that the nut on this is really high. So I might need to recut that nut. It's probably gonna take some work. Hey, it was 120, what did I say? $126, $126 for a tenor banjo made in Japan. What the heck? But anyway, um, I got her tuned up. Now I've never played a banjo before in my life. So, um, you know, <laughs> you know, it's not gonna be great, but you can tell right away. It's got a voice. It sounds like a banjo. So, hey, it's gonna take some work. I wish it had a case, it doesn't. You know, I can find one of those. But the point is, I've got a tenor banjo now, and it's got a resonator, and it was $126, and it seems to work. So, hey, it's got some work to go, but I got a banjo. I'm a banjo man.